Welcome to this week's video where I discuss what I believe is important for individual investors to consider over the next one to two weeks before they make their investment decisions. We're going to talk a bit about the Fed, what they're doing, what they're saying, and how it's affecting the markets. We're also going to talk about corporations. What are they starting to say and how are they behaving currently? And lastly, we're going to talk about portfolio mix, asset mix. What should you be looking to own in your portfolio during these volatile times? And what do I think will work going forward? Recently, we heard from the Federal Reserve. They told us that they were raising interest rates by 75 basis points, the largest increase in interest rates since 1994. The market reacted positive to that news uh, right off the bat. But then the next morning we wake up and we find out the market is not too happy. You see, overall, the Fed keeps telling us that they need to raise interest rates to fight inflation. Yet, I think the market is telling us that the Fed can't fight inflation, that it is very difficult for them to fight inflation. And in fact, to bring the inflation numbers down, they will have to take us into a possibly a recession. We will have to see unemployment rates rise and we'll have to see a general slowdown in the economy. You see, because inflation, in my opinion, is not being caused by the demand side of the equation. As we know, the inflation rate is caused by a lot of demand chasing too few products. In this case, I think it's the product side. It is the supply, the supply of natural gas, the supply of oil in particular, and food. We have a food shortage. A lot of this stemming from the war in Ukraine, and I don't think that's going to end anytime soon. So the Federal Reserve is telling us that they need to get inflation under control, and the only way they can do this is by dampening demand, basically slowing down the economy, slowing down all of us in our spending habits, small businesses, the average investor out there, borrowing money to invest or borrowing money to start a new business or grow your business. All this is starting to slow. In fact, we're already seeing things such as real estate slow down significantly, seeing three months in a row of declines in home builds, housing starts, we're seeing slowdown in sales, and even pricing is starting to fall here in our country. So overall, I think the Federal Reserve and Bank of Canada, for that matter, is being very successful in what they're trying to do. My biggest fear and the fear for the markets and why the markets keep falling day after day is that they're going to slow down this economy too much. And in fact, I would not be surprised to see them raise interest rates significantly this year, only to then lower interest rates in the back half of 2023. Once we see or once they see that this market and economy is at a standstill or even possibly in a recession. So keep an eye on what the Fed is doing. Keep an eye on what the Bank of Canada is doing. Let's listen to what Fed officials will be saying in the coming weeks and months. And that should basically indicate to individual investors which way they want to lean with respect to their portfolios. So over the last couple of weeks, we started to hear a lot more from individual corporations, some of the largest names in the business today. And what they're saying is they're, in essence, having a hiring freeze. They're no longer hiring employees. Some of them are actually letting go some of their workforce. I heard uh, Coinbase, one of the largest crypto exchanges out there today, is cutting their workforce by as much as 18%. Recent comments by uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell, he indicated that if unemployment rates were to tick up from the low 3% range into the mid 4% range, he'd be okay with that. So going forward, let's look for these types of things, these types of announcements being made by individual corporations. I would not be surprised to see these businesses start to tell us that they have to lay off workers to, in order to keep their profitability up, in order to cut costs and hopefully increase their bottom line. But overall, make no mistake, individual businesses today are starting to slow down right across the board, whether it's because of supply chain issues that are still persisting, whether it's high oil prices, or whether it's inflation, or just simply because interest rates have risen further. But I think it's important to keep one eye on the Fed and one eye on these businesses to see how they're reacting to the latest interest rate increases. So with all this negativity out there in the world today, I think individual investors can't help but to focus on all these issues and trying to climb that wall of worry that seems to getting, be getting higher and higher and higher. What are individual investors supposed to be doing right now? Well, 
In my opinion, I think you want to do a couple of things, two things in particular. Number one, I think you want to circle back to perhaps the bond market. I haven't spoken about this in a long time, but we're starting to see bond rates start to tick higher. Where I, when we used to be able to make maybe one, 2% on a bond, a high grade or investment grade bond within five year maturity, now we're starting to see those bonds paying 3%. So they've jumped substantially with higher interest rates. And secondly, I think you want to streamline your portfolio. I think you want to get rid of or sell off some of the non-mainstream names, some of the names that aren't the biggest in their sectors, that aren't paying good dividends, and that the potential for growth is not necessarily there as well as some of the other names, such as a Microsoft, a Google, an Apple, some of the biggest names and companies in the world. So I think you want to streamline your portfolio in every sector to go towards those names that are the largest, that can pay you a dividend, and that I think have sustainability or staying power, pricing power, so that they can get through these difficult times and then rebound and move higher once things get a little bit better in the overall economy.